All right, it's All-American Day here at Fargo. We got Coach Justin Kub uh, joining us, one of the cadet coaches. Coach, congrats on the team's performance so far. They've done awesome. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, uh, yeah guys have been wrestling hard, right? We got two guys going here in the semis, uh, starting at 10. And then we got some other guys going in the blood round. And I think the blood round, it's, you know, seeing the guys this morning, it's a little easier to get up on All-American Day and stuff. So right now they're just finishing up their warm-ups, talked about individual warm-ups, and um, each guy's going to, you know, get ready to go and win that next match. Awesome. Hey, you yourself competed at the highest level in college. You were here at Fargo. Talk to me about how has the tournament changed over the years since you were here and how and what it is now? Yeah, it's well, for one, it's gotten bigger. <laughs> um, it, it's, you know, it's gotten bigger. And I think the other cool thing is I think more guys are coming to this. I think the two big tournaments um, now are Super 32 and Fargo. And I think the competition's gotten harder, um, even from when I was, you know, in it and stuff, you know, that when the depth of the tournament's gotten harder and so your matches are harder in the quarterfinals, round of 16, round of 32, it's just been harder all the way through. So um, just getting through the tournament, I think, has been a little bit harder and just kind of the schedule has changed with the more kids and stuff. And so they're longer days. So right. staying, you know, getting ready, you know, some guys on day one, they only wrestled two matches, but they were in the Fargo Dome for 12 hours and stuff. So, you know, just staying in the, in the zone for these guys and stuff, getting up for those matches. I think it's um, become a longer tournament, but it's also, you know, you're finding the better wrestlers are rising to the top. Right, for sure. Say, you competed at, at the highest level collegiately, very successful. How important do you feel it is for kids that might want to compete after high school to get involved in summer wrestling, to be at Fargo, to do the duels, you know, to, to do this freestyle and Greco stuff that some people aren't willing to do. I think it's the most important thing guys, high school, middle school and high school kids can do to get ready for that next level. To one, win a state championship, reach their goals in state, but also get ready for the next level. And just because everyone here has made a choice, you know, um, our guys could be at the lake right now. They could be, you know, do, doing whatever they want and stuff. But each guy here chose to do this. And I think getting around more like-minded guys too, you know, between Fargo training camp, uh, cadet and junior duels, things like that. I think you're just getting around more like-minded individuals outside of your high school, and it just raises that, right? So your workout partners at those things, and just being around those types of guys and getting that experience, and um, you know, those are the guys that you're going through it with right now. Those are the guys you're competing with at the state tournament, and those are the guys you're going to be teammates with in college, and also competing with in college too. So. Right. Um, I think I do. I think the summer wrestling piece of choosing to do these things is the most important thing guys can do. That's awesome. Hey, we're minutes away from action. I'm going to let you get back and coach these kids up. Congrats so far and good luck, coach. Thank you.